In this video you are going to learn the violin part names, the bridge, tile piece, chin rest, the pegs, the strings, coming up. Hello everyone, welcome back to Violin Lesson Online. This is a free online violin school for absolute beginners as well as for advanced players. If you are looking for free violin lessons, this is the right place for you. Make sure to subscribe to my YouTube channel and hit the bell notification icon. Follow me on Facebook, Twitter, Instagram, visit my website so you won't miss anything. Please let me know your opinions, questions, thoughts. Simply use the comment section below. In this video I'm going to show you the parts of the violin and their names. Let's start from the upper part. This is called scroll. These four keys are called pegs. This peg is for the E string. This peg is for the A string. This is for the D string and this is for the G string. This piece right there where the strings come above is called top nut. Very important place for a violin. This is the neck of the violin. This black wooden piece is called the fingerboard. These are the four strings. You have the E string, A string, D string and G string. Also named first string, second, third and fourth string. That is the bridge. This is called tile piece and is connected to this which is called end button. This is called fine tuner. You can have different types of tile piece. A tile piece like this one without fine tuners or a tile piece like this one with built-in fine tuners. You can install also external fine tuners. This is an external fine tuner. This is called chin rest. Very important because it's the part where your head goes. These two very nice decorative holes are called F holes or sound holes. Their function is not only decorative, it is very important. They basically let the sound go out of the instrument. So they don't have just a decorative function. And finally you have the sound post. The sound post is this wooden piece which you see when you look inside the right F hole. You won't be able to see that in video I guess. But if you look inside you see a wooden piece and that wooden piece is responsible for the sound production. Very important. You can have many types of chin rests, many forms like this one, this one, this one and many others. You can choose the chin rest form which is better for you. You can take the chin rest of your violin and just put the chin rest you like. This here is a lateral chin rest which means it goes on the side and this is a central chin rest. It goes on the center. If you have any questions, if there is anything you think I'm missing in this video or if you have any special request on which video you would like me to do next, simply let me know in the comment section below. Make sure to subscribe to my YouTube channel and hit the bell notification icon. Follow me on Facebook, Twitter, Instagram, visit my website so you won't miss anything. I really hope you liked this video and if you did then give it a big thumbs up and share it with your friends. That's all for now, thank you so much for watching and I'll see you next time.